Now to the Treasury Secretary, Timothy Geithner, potentially facing criminal charges. According to Fox News Senior Judicial Analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano, there's a long way to go between here and there, so stay with us. The, it all deals with how he, uh, the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, handled AIG, and he was in charge of that, the American Insurance Group, during the depths of the financial crisis. It's about how, what he did with them. Geithner headed the bank then. Bloomberg News reports that the New York Fed told AIG to withhold details from the public about its payments to banks. It reports AIG wrote in a draft that it paid banks, including Goldman Sachs, every penny on the dollar for toxic credit default swaps. Those are insurance-like contracts for financial institutions that aren't regulated and don't have to be backed by cash. The New York Fed crossed that line out of the report, according to to report citing emails between the two companies. With us now to help explain this and what the legal ramifications are, Judge Andrew Napolitano. I got to tell you, I just read all that. I didn't read it very well, and I don't understand it. I think you read it quite well. I, I didn't read it well. well would, would you Tim, help us understand? Sure. What Tim Geithner was doing? the president of the New York Federal Reserve Bank in the fall of 2008 when the Federal Reserve and the Treasury and the White House and the Congress decided to bail out AIG. Right. In the process of that bailing out of AIG, many, many documents were exchanged. If you went to the bank to borrow money, you'd have to fill out documents. One of the documents AIG filled out said, we owe X dollars to Goldman Sachs and we plan on paying the 100 cents on the dollar. According to Bloomberg, Emails that came out yesterday say that lawyers for the Federal Reserve Bank said we were told to strike this from the form so that AIG would not reveal to the Treasury Department or to the public that this money was going to be paid to Goldman Sachs because that's a politically toxic issue. Goldman Sachs making a fortune, making a hundred cents on the dollar with federal funds. Now. If you go to buy a $25 savings bond from the federal government and you falsify the document to acquire that bond, you can go to jail. That's right. If you borrow $185 billion from the government, like AIG did, and you falsify a document, even if the government told you to do so, the people involved can go to jail. According to Bloomberg, one of the people who told them to do so was the now Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner. All right. Now, they're alleging that they kept it from the people, that they didn't make it public what AIG, what they were going to be doing with this money. But is that to say that the government didn't know either? Good question. If they just kept that would it, be a key, if it? they just kept it from the public, there is no crime. And Geithner may actually be commended for his political wisdom. If it was required to be reported in a document and not accurately reported, that would be the criminal event. And anybody who conspired to do so, counseled to do so, or ordered someone to do so, would be a potential defendant for that crime. It's piling up on one Tim Geithner. It is piling up uh, on him. This does not look very good for intellectual honesty and for the competence of reposing the people's money in his hands. Why in the world would our government, with our money, pay 100 cents on the dollar for stuff that ain't worth the paper it's printed on? Why? We who watch this stuff for a living, you and I and our colleagues I mean, it's clear Fox, that the banks run the country. The country doesn't run itself. The, the, the banks have tremendous influence in the Kidding. country. Kidding. The government regulates the banks. They're in bed with each other. It's crazy. We did not know until after this deal was done that AIG had someone it owed money to and it paid that someone 100 cents on the dollar. And that someone was the richest investment bank in the world whose former chair was then the Treasury Secretary, Henry Paulson. The someone was Goldman Sachs. None of us knew that until after the $13 billion in federal funds had been paid to Goldman Sachs. What a tangled web we weave. When at first we practiced to deceive. Yes, and that's what they're doing, isn't it? Yes. Thank you, Judge. You're welcome, Shep. You bring such joy to the world. <laughs> I'm just doing my job. <laughs> Don't kill the message.